Hi everybody, welcome to Color Your World. Now today we're going to do a little something uh, different. It's about seven or eight days out before Christmas. And maybe you haven't told your wife, your mom, what you wanted from Santa yet, or you're unsure. And maybe you just decided that this is the year that you would like to get a couple of games that you can paint yourself. So I'm going to give you a top six list here of the games that I enjoyed the most this year painting and I think would be very easy for a beginner to paint. Okay, a beginner to paint. At number six, this game I had a blast with and I sent a copy up to my good friend Rodney and he really enjoyed play it, playing it. Um, it comes mostly pre-painted, but some of, the, some of the guys aren't painted and I think you can just have a lot of fun touching up and doing different things with this and that is Giant Killer Robots heavy hitters this is a fantastic and wonderful experience i had so much fun with this and painting it was just fantastic at number five wildlands and the expansion unquiet dead they come pre uh they come inked so you could just leave them alone if you want or just add a little dry brush and add a little color and experiment with a few things I found they're small enough, there's not a lot of figures, and it's something very, very enjoyable. And number four is a game I discovered this year that I found I fell absolutely in love with. But if you get the second edition, it comes with stand, standees, and you're going to want to get the box set that has the miniatures in it, and they sell them out there, the, the entire box set from Game Briar Games, Folklore the Affliction. This was the most fun I had painting. It, it's easy, uh, detailed, the models are bigger, so you have a, a, a better grasp on them, and they were just fun. It was just fun painting werewolves, and vampires, and all the other wonderful things that come in that set. Uh, the heroes were easy, you know, you just, and, and there's enough cards and stuff that you can take a look at and get an idea of what you want to do with them and just have fun with it. Fun is what it really comes down to. And number three is a game my daughter absolutely loves. And painting these was an en so enjoyable for me because watching the story play out, it just, it really brought this game together. And that is stuffed fables i enjoyed this so much and painting it was so easy it is one of the easier games i painted i almost painted it in an entire evening and it was just fun to paint and the game is fun on top of it so you have this wonderful experience you can play with your kids and 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 be able to paint this and go look kids i did this and that's just wonderful at number two is a game that I absolutely adore you can get it at miniature market this thing is just enormous and it, you'll get it at the best price you can get it it is the Cthulhu Wars Cthulhu Wars first of all the, the creatures are this big and for a beginner the bigger the creature the more you can do with it and the more you can you can pour into it and you're gonna find and you're gonna understand how to move paint with these bigger figures not to mention the the factions are not extraordinary huge they're absolutely gorgeous on top of it and they're easy to paint keyword easy to paint very enjoyable and very fun and finally our number one game from this year the one that I think will catch the most people and are it, it's easy enough to do well that is Star Wars Legion um, Legion, the reason I picked Legion is number one, putting everything together. A lot of the stuff on this list, there's nothing you really have to put together. And that was always a fear of mine was you guys getting something that you have to glue, thus causing a frustration. Well, with Star Wars Legion, you do have two sides uh, of miniatures there, but you also have the availability to learn how to paint. Stormtroopers are so easy. 
to paint and it's just going to build confidence and then of course all the other figures uh, on the other side are very easy and are going to teach you some of the fundamentals of painting you can see that I did a video on it actually and I think you would enjoy it immensely but as far as a game it's a good solid system there's all kinds of things and you could just pick and choose what you want to paint and that's the beauty of it it's just a fantastic experience so there you have it. Those are my top six games that, that you should ask for for Christmas that are easy enough for a beginner to start painting. So I hope you all have the best of holidays. And of course, from everybody here at Board Game Geek, all the guys and gals, we wish you the best of holidays and the best of times and we appreciate everything you do and don't forget the fundraiser which is only a few days from being done and help us out in any way you can we would appreciate it so until next time it's your old pal rob we'll see you soon happy holidays